Hey everyone, I'm the Penny Pinching Prepper and welcome to my channel. If you've been subscribed for a while, do me a favor, get down there below and hit that thumbs up button for me. For those of you who might just be catching me for the first time, um, well, watch the video. Uh, today we're going to go over my personal fire kits, uh, why I see what I think is important, uh, what's in it, um, why I put it together the way I do, what's for what, all that good stuff. We're just going to go over it. Um, so, for starters, <clears throat> this one right here is my um, everyday carry fire kit. Um, it goes inside of my everyday carry backpack. Um, and inside of that, I don't ever really use this. Um, I usually have one on me, but just in case I don't, I have an emergency backup lighter with some duct tape around it. And you can see I uh, put a little zip tie around it right here to block the, the thing you press to make the gas come out. Um, that way it lasts longer. I carry a pack of 20 of uh, um, my matched twigs. If you haven't seen that video, go back and check them out. These are uh, pretty cool little fire starters. Very uh, versatile. Or versatile. You guys know the word. Um, that one's tripping me up. Ain't going to get it. So I carry a pack of that. Um, these basically substitute like uh, birthday candles and um, also give you a way to break it up and, and make a fire bundle to make a fire that way. It just depends on you know what the weather is and what everything's like. And then I carry my magnesium block with fer uh, ferro rod on top and a striker. And this is fire cord. Um, really, it's not a big kit, but for an everyday carry, I mean, it's more than, more than sufficient. Um, I can make a ton of fires with this in several different types of weather. Not necessarily extreme cold and wet, but <clears throat> definitely a little cold and wet. And then in my inch bag, I, I carry this little thing. And some people might think it's not little, but I mean, it really, I guess, isn't that little. But in comparisons to some of the other fire kits I've seen out there, this one's little. Uh, it's got this little handle on it, and, and you'll see why later. And just a little way to attach it to outside um, of my bag if I need to, you know, not have it inside my bag. But... I carry on the outside a couple pieces of dry tender with me. This is fur. It's, it's nice and straight. It splits really nice and easy. It's got a little bit of uh, pitch that I put on the outside of it. It's um, really hard to see. Just to keep it from getting wet or anything. Um or too wet it's it's not it's not a uh, waterproof by any means but it's just got a little bit of a seal to it so no matter what i've always got a little bit of dry tender um this is just to spread them apart so that it presses well i'll get to that in a minute so uh i carry a four times magnification Fennel lens, Fresnel lens. I went with the four time because I'm up here in the north and um, they're a little more expensive, a little harder to find, but up here north, any bit of magnification you can get will help, especially in the winter when our, our days are short and the sun is low. <clears throat> uh, this is just a, a way to help keep too much water from ever getting in there if it's raining or something like that it, it wouldn't survive uh, being in the submerged in the water for any amount of time or anything like that but it, it actually is on there pretty good 
you can hear that coming off and that's because I uh, put some uh, hot glue around here just to try to make some sort of a seal and the reason being is this is actually um, the Betty Crocker uh, Parmesan cheese grater box and uh, this is built into it and the reason I chose this is well I'll show you later in the video okay so take the lid off and inside I did the same thing I put a little bit of glue along in there and tried to make some sort of a seal um, I went with the hot glue because it's easy to work with and it hardens as kind of a rubber so um, right off the bat you'll notice I'll have just some cotton balls and uh, these are great for fire rolls I, I don't use these for like um, tender other than like fire rolls um, and the reason being is there's always a little bit of space left in your box somewhere <laughs> if there's room you know fill it up if you can and so I filled it up with cotton balls for fire rolls um, I do have a full-size lighter in here and uh, I just put a piece of string with a bowling knot around it so it comes up underneath the the depressor again or whatever the tongue or whatever you want to call it it is to keep it from going down um, so it doesn't run out of fuel um, some of my fire buttons uh, if you haven't seen uh, the video for the fire buttons these things are awesome go back and check it out uh, inside of this straw I sealed off a uh, one of the Titan storm matches the really big ones so I have one of those and then in this one I put two of the small storm matches and sealed it off so I have three storm matches if I ever need it uh, so this is how I carry my fat wood all right and it's kind of hard to see because it wants to or bleed out there you can kind of see it on this one this is quality fat maybe I can get a, a light behind it Oh, one second. There we go. This is quality fatwood. You see how nice and bright that's shining. You can even get a little bit of a glare right here. That's kind of reddish tint. Um, and it makes it great. <laughs> If you bring it back to this thing, um, now this will work for anything. Let's say you use everything up in your kit and all you got left is your, your, uh, ferrocenium rod, your ferro rod, uh, whatever you want to call it. You know, that's all you got left. You can always come back to the kit and if you ain't got a knife, nothing now I'm not going to do a lot of this because this is my good fat wood and I don't want to waste it but once you get it going good and I'm not standing up and putting any pressure and doing anything well you can see it better on the board it creates dust and that dust when you know the proper technique of how to start dust, which I'm going to show um, ferro rod techniques in a, a video coming up, uh, is highly flammable and easy to start. Um, even if you can just find like some dry fur, you know, that you can do the same thing to it. And uh, usually when you do it, you do it over this, so it collects inside of this. 
Um, it makes it easy to just take everything out and put it to the side. But I've used this quite a few times and uh, it, it still works really good. Um, well, you can see all the dust and I really didn't put any pressure on it or any time or energy into it. And so that's why I chose this. Now these, these have become kind of a novelty. Uh, I, I don't think they make them anymore. The only place I can find them is like on eBay and eBay type places and they've gotten a little bit expensive. I mean, some of them are 10 bucks, some of them are five bucks, some of them are seven bucks. Um, I got mine at the Dollar Tree for a buck, uh, <laughs> but the Dollar Tree doesn't seem to have them anymore. I haven't for a long time. I've been looking for more ever since I, I discovered that this actually works pretty good. And, uh, so the next thing I, I, I'd have in here, oh, and I... If you guys want to make this kit, if, if you think this is a good idea, there is two things you can do. You can either buy this whole thing, uh, and I, I will leave a link to a page to where I, I found different places you can go to, to find them. But, uh, or you can get one of the, the handheld, the, the little ones that come on a, a handle. They're only like, you know, half the size of this. You know, they're only like half the size. And uh, it has a little uh, stick handle on the end. Um, cut most of the handle off and, and put it inside your kit. Um, at the, from the Dollar Tree. Uh, Dollar Store, Dollar General, whatever. Um, I, I would really do that. Oh, it, it's helpful. I, I can't stress how much I've actually enjoyed discovering how well that works. So next, I have my, my little ferro rod here, and uh, it's got a little bit of, of duct tape on it just to give me something to hold on to, and of course, a little extra fire tender. A bag of magnesium. Uh, the reason I carry a bag instead of a bar is it's a little bit lighter and I'm not probably going to rely on um, using magnesium too much when I have so many other ways at this point to start a fire. It's kind of just a little backup thing. I do have 20 of my fire twigs. Um, I put it in something else just to make it just a teeny bit smaller to fit in here nicer than I, I'd usually do in my little black things. All right, and then I've got four of my extreme weather starters, uh, or extreme weather tender, or extreme all weather fire tender. I always can't even say my own names right. Um, if you didn't see this video, guys, go back and see this one, all right? Really, these things are awesome. Even if you just want to make a small amount for yourself and tuck them away for a rainy day, um, <clears throat> you'll appreciate having some of these in your your uh, bug out bag or inch bag or, or whatever. Now, usually I don't go with one of these strikers, uh, but... Um, it came free with the, the magnesium, and it was much, much smaller and thinner and easier to get, or much more easy to get in there, um, and it saved space. And then, last but not least, inside of here, I have, uh, gosh, what did I put in here? Was it a book of matches, or a... Uh, not book of matches, but strike anywhere matches, I would probably guess. Knowing me, because I'm usually good for going with something simple, and then just to make sure that they stayed a little more protected, I wrapped them up. Okay. <clears throat> so, this is actually a, a full match kit. Alright, there's a bunch of Like I said, strike anywhere matches. There's also more 
small storm matches. There's probably five of those. There's a book of matches and a striker. So this is a, a full little match kit. I should have known better. I'm usually good for making match kits. Um, sent a really small one to Farmer Son Prepper. Uh, Farmer Son Prepping, excuse me. Uh, but that's my little fire kit. And like I said, not little fire kit, my bigger fire kit. But when you have everything out, you can... It'll collect it up for you. That was just a couple of seconds. Now imagine if I tripled that. You'd have a nice little pile there. And you'd have an easy way to start a fire. I always forget how hard it is to see in my hand. But decent little pile. That quick. And that's why I went with this. Guys, if you um, like my little, little fire kit, if you have any questions about it, um, please do me a favor and leave comments down below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, I know it's nothing fancy other than my little carrying case. And it's kind of spread out to create... I, I Well... With this, as long as you take care of it, with this, as long as you take care of it, and it's, you know, enough sun, you can always start fire with one of those. But with the rest of it, I would probably say there's, you know, somewhere around two. I mean, I do have a lighter and the ferro rod, so, and a ton of matches. I could easily get, you know... 100, 150 fires, maybe more out of this. Uh, so, if you have any questions about it, please leave a comment down below or reach me at pennypinchingprepper77 at gmail. If you are new to this channel and you liked it, consider subscribing. And um, that's it. That's all, folks. But it, but it, but it. You guys have a wonderful day, all right? And remember, God's good and God bless.